Kerala Blasters are in some great form, but Bengaluru FC need to start winning games as well. Absolutely, here are the teams, Kerala unchanged, not surprisingly. Prepshik and Gil goes in search of a third straight clean sheet. Marco Leskovic has started every game so far. Former Pam's been his regular partner. Jinkson and Ivan Kaliushni are the two central midfielders. Here are the Bengaluru lineup. Simon Grace has side unchanged as well. Gerpreet has kept two clean sheets so far. Sanes Jingen returns to the club where he made 76 appearances. Javi Hernandez scored twice in the recent win over Goa. Suresh and Danish are either side of him. Roy Krishna hasn't scored for five games and we're hoping to end that barren spell. It's tonight the night that Bengaluru can get their season turned around. We're underway, it's the final game of match week 10 in the 2022-23 Hero Indian Super League. Luna. The other tackles again. Just forced outside the penalty. A stick off the shot in. Gerbry saw it coming, had plenty of time to see it. A super work from Kerala Blasters. Diamante goes again. Look at that upper body strength. That could have been a free kick as well. The ball again. Roll KP in space. Good ball. They're looking for Adrian Luna. It's just a function too high. And Chesty back by Premier Das to Gerbry. Well, that's a great ball towards Rahul KP. He's just touching, hugging that touch line. The brilliant ball coming in towards Luna. But Diamante goes is the one that has to take that chance, has to gamble and go forward. He's got his head up, beautiful floated cross coming in. But that's the moment where Diamandakos needs to make the run forward. And the Sunil Chetri. Chetri goes down into Gill's challenge. The ball had gone. And he's given the penalty, has he? He has given the penalty. Well, the ball had gone. Premshik and Gill brought down Sunil Chetri. He's fuming. Yes, he is onside, so that's not a problem. But it does look like the keeper does get a touch to that. We have a look at it again. Oh, he's got a touch. What can he do here? Is Sunil Chetri about to put Bengaluru in front in Kochi? Here he comes, very short run up, rolled into the bottom corner, sends the keeper the wrong way. Sunil Chetri's off and running, Bengaluru are off and running. Never a doubt was there. You can see it in his eyes, he was always looking convincing. Puts it to the keeper's left and I don't think Prasukan Gil had a chance even if he got to that side. That's a very, very good penalty. Kept it hard and kept it low. Luna. He's got Sandeep outside him. We know all about Adrianina's creativity. Lovely touch, Ralph KP. This is Brian. Ralph KP for the equaliser. What a miss. That's football at its finest best. Look at the touches around. Five, ten yard passes. He's laid that off for Ralph KP. But has to just show some composure. That's all he needed. Good reads come out. Just pick a spot and just place it past the goalkeeper. That's a massive chance for Kerala Blasters. What can the Uruguayan do here? Gerfried waits, plenty of bodies in front of him. It's up and over, to the inside of the post. Well, KP will keep this alive. Jinkson. And it comes again to Lord Adrian Luna, bouncing around in the box. that in space what a beautiful delivery from Sandeep and Adrian Luna they're using every inch of his body to try to get towards that ball but narrowly misses out another opportunity for Kerala Blasters that was so close Luna in space once again Five 
17 yard passes. But again, the quality of that delivery into the box from Adrian Luna, he knows exactly when Diamantikos is going to make that forward run. And what he does well is he makes that run ahead of Jovanovic. Jovanovic should be doing better, but that finish from a tight angle smashes it past Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. He's got no time to react. Ivo, Ivan Vukomanovic loves this right now. The bench as well on their feet. Great goal for Kerala Blasters. It's a great footballing goal. There goes the half-time whistle. Great performance, great atmosphere, and a great comeback by the Kerala Blasters. Bengaluru went in front. Uh, dubious penalty. Sunil Chetri brought down by Prakshuk and Gill. It was he that got up to send the goalkeeper the wrong way from the spot. Uh, Parry it up to left back rather. On the way for the second half then. Gianni up with him. Gianni, great run. It's Gianni round the keeper. that they put is so quick to get the ball forward it's Diamantikos there again with that upper body strength cheeky pass towards Janu gets a bit lucky with that first touch beautiful finish in the end takes it past the goalkeeper and puts it past Parag three goals last season for MacArthur FC in Australia and gets a debut here a YSL goal here for his new club and an inspired substitution the fresh legs coming on Sahal driven across and away by Ivanovic, who's forced to concede the corner. Just attacking football there from Kerala Blasters. Get the ball forward. Just clever again from Sahal. With that ball coming in, he's watching the run. Here's Diamantikos. Driven in again, pushed away by Gerpri. It's a 3v3 there. Gilleru won. Holby Pumps, Holby Pumps, head up, doesn't get the ball away! And volleyed in by Javi Hernandez for another quality goal. Scored the two in the win over Goa, and that maybe has given Bengaluru the slightest of chances, but perhaps you can kill. Well, could only watch it fly past him. He hit that with such venom. What a strike. Poor header from Homi Palm, just in the part of Javi. But he's hit that so sweetly, running onto that ball. Left foot like a traction engine, no chance for Prabhsuk and Gill in goal. And all of a sudden, Bengaluru sense that they might be able to get something from this game. Then Diamantakos, the fifth goal in five games for him. And then Gianni with the goal that made it 3-1. Before they were given a lifeline, the Bengaluru Blues, but it wasn't to be for them on the day. And it is another win for the Blasters, five in a row. Sunil Chetri, his penalty, got them off to a perfect start. We knew this would be spicy, and that's the way it turned out to be.